Good morning and welcome to Winescape TV. We are delighted to have with us uh, today on this fine summer's, well it's not really a fine summer's day, but we have got Pierre who hasn't brought the sunshine from Stellenbosch. Uh, he's from Simonsig Wine Estates in South Africa um, and we are now moving on to our Red Hill Pinotage. Now we did try the uh, just the standard Pinotage earlier which was lovely, it hasn't seen much action or if, no action at all um, with any wood so we've got lovely fruit flavours coming through um, which again is, is a really delightful thing, got a little bit of smokiness as well. Um, but this Red Hill, you said Pierre that potentially it's going to pack a bit more of a punch. That's right, the, the red hill is from, uh, well the vineyard is planted on a little hill with quite red soil, so that's where the name <laughs> comes from. And uh, again it's bush vine, so uh, not trellised, smaller oh, yeah. structure, uh, naturally quite a, a small yield with really good concentration. Also the, the crop uh, grows a little bit closer to the soil, so at night time you have a bit of heat radiation from, from the soil, which helps also with ripening. Uh, the red hill. We, um, we put in oak, we use, uh, it's mostly French oak, but we like to use a bit of American oak with pinotage. The, the variety itself has a bit of sweetness of, on fruit, mm -hmm. and the American oak brings a little bit of that vanilla cigar box flavor uh, to the wine. So this is uh, 2010. So you can see, where's the, 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 the sort of the, I can't say the standard, that's, that's, that's the wrong way to say it, but the, the sort of the pinotage that it stands, it's, it's got that, it's very fruitive, and this has got a complexity to it because of that oak, um, which I think works really, really well. A little bit more of a, a foodie wine, potentially. Uh, mm -hmm. say the Shannon, you know, you were saying earlier, just the standard one, you could have that on its own, chill it down maybe, as, as South Africans seem to like to do, um, but maybe the Red Hills requires a little bit more thought uh, going into it. It's a uh, it's definitely a, it, it packs a punch, but it's not as say not over the top. It's got a brilliant it's sort of the, the integration there with the flavours, and I think the, the, the wood really, really works. And that'll probably age a bit, won't it? Definitely, it's a wine that can go eight or ten years um, if you uh, if you have the patience. I, I don't, but, <laughs> <laughs> but for the sake of obviously our viewers, then you know if you do have the patience, then you can uh, sit there and watch it uh, in your wine rack as it ages as you sit there drinking water. But I would uh, I wouldn't be able to do that. I don't have the patience. So I'll be reaching in there, grabbing a corkscrew, and uh, enjoying this wine because this is absolutely sensational. The Red Hill Pinotage from Simmersig. Thank you, Pierre. This is lovely. Cheers. Mm -hmm.